Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I am Jules Giang and this is K-Check. The search is still on para sa mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Join us until the final week of competition when we announce the new K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Jay is a math student from UP Dilan. His hobbies are listening to Taylor Swift, playing board and card games with friends and orgmates. Kim is a student of BA Philippine Studies from UP Diliman. He likes to sing classic OPM songs and is passionate about teaching the Filipino language to young people. Isaac is an electronics engineering student of UP Diliman from Bokawe, Bulacan. His hobbies include playing arcade games, playing badminton, and listening to music. He is currently an active member of UP Lacan and UP Arirang. And lastly, Zyril is an economics student of UP Diliman. Her hobbies are watching movies, listening to music, and reading. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. We also have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, a painter, sculptor, film and TV director, critic, and multimedia artist, a professor emeritus who teaches film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and Communication at the UP Open University, we have Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon, contestants, good luck as we go into our first round. Get ready to buzz in. Your correct answers are worth 10 points each. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one. What popular sport is governed by FIFA? Zylin. Football. Football is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What planet is called the Earth's twin because it is 80% of our planet's mass? J. Mars. Mars is Malay. Kim. Venus. Venus is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. In what U.S. state can you find Miami and Disney World? Kim. Florida. Florida is correct. Hey, check. Number four. Which son of Annabel Rama played the role of Prince Price in the movie Fantastica? The correct answer is Richard Gutierrez. Question number five. In elementary science, what do you call the amount of matter an object contains? Siren. Mass. Mass is male. J. Atom. Atom is male. Isaac. Volume. Volume. Volume is male. You want to answer him? Okay. The correct answer is matter. Question number six. Moonlight Sunrise is the title of an English language hit song of which Korean girl group? Zyle. Twice. Twice is correct. Okay, check. Number seven. Question number seven. Which grumpy Dr. Seuss character became infamous for stealing Christmas from the people of Whoville? Isaac. Uh, Grinch. Grinch or the Grinch is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In mental math, what is 50% of 48? J. 24. 24 is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What is the name of the bone that protects the human brain? Kim. Skull. Skull or cranium is correct. Okay, check. Question number ten. Which ocean is to the immediate east of the provinces Quezon, Samar, and Surigao del Norte? Kim. Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean? 
is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. What is the Tagalog word for the fruit star apple? Kim. Kaimito. Kaimito is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Number 12. In what country can you find the island of Bali? Kim. Indonesia. Indonesia is correct. Okay, check. And that ends our first round. So let's do a quick recap of the points. On the lead right now is Kim with 60 points. To be followed by Zyril with 20 points. At Tai naman sa 10 points, si Jay and Isaac. Alright, so balita ko may tanong si Prof. Gigi kay Kim. You know, I'm very interested to know that uh, you are passionate and but not just about the Filipino language. Pero yung interest mo na magturo ka sa mga kabataan. So bakit mo ito gusto gawin? Uh, yun po ang gusto ko at ang pangunahin kong advocacy sapagkat na niniwala po ko na ang pagtuturo sa pambansang wika ay kaugnay ng pagsusulong ng karapatang pantao na dapat tinatamasa ng bawat Pilipino. Thank you, Kim. Maraming salamat, Prof. Gigi, and maraming salamat, Kim. Mamaya po, ikakausapin din natin yung iba pa nating mga contestants. Pero bago yan, paghahandaan na natin lahat ang round 2. Lahat ng yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Tuloy pa rin po ang ating karunungan check. Recap muna tayo ng points. Leading pa rin po si Kim with 60 points, followed by Zyril with 20 points, at tied naman sa 10 points si Jay at si Isaac. Okay, tanungan muna tayo. Si Prof. Maria naman ay magtatanong sa kapwa mahilig sa math na si Jay. Okay, Jay. Um, may tanong ko sa'yo. Can you explain galwa theory? Joke. Okay, mahil mahilig kang mag-play ng cards? Nagkakasino ka? Ay, hindi. So, so paglalaro mo ba ng mga card games, ay nagamit mo ang math mo? Nakakalamang ka ba? <laughs> uh, personally po, nagagamita naman po kasi ng probability theory po yung mga card games. And from there po, masasolve po kung pa, gaano po kalaki yung probability of winning the game. And nakakalamang po siya. <laughs> ano ba laro nyo? Pekwa? <laughs> Anong games yan? Mga ano Bridge? po? Bridge? Mga kung ano-anong games. Poker? Na ano. Solitaire? <laughs> monkey, monkey. <laughs> monkey, monkey? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so now it's time for round number two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let us begin round number two. Here's question number one. What is the name of the hot fluid material below the Earth's surface from which lava forms and other igneous rock is formed on cooling? Diary. Magma. Magma is correct. Okay, check. In 2018, what song from the film A Star Is Born won the Academy Award for Best Song? The correct answer is Shallow. Alam mo yun, Shallow. Sample nga? Okay, okay. It's okay. All right. Question number three. What type of simple machine is a slanted surface that makes it easier to move a mass from a lower to a higher point? J. Escalator. Escalator is mali. Zayel. A ramp. A ramp is mali. Okay. The correct answer is inclined plane. Okay. Next question. Question number four. Which leading e-commerce company is the world's largest online retailer 
and marketplace and shares its name with a large river and a female warrior. Isaac. Amazon. Amazon is correct. Key check. Question number five. In what island can you find Bicol and Ilocos? Kim. The Philippine Islands. Philippine Islands is mali. What island? In the Philippines. Isa. Luzon. Luzon is correct. Page check. Question number six. Which French term refers to the period of intellectual and art? Okay, Kim. Uh, Renaissance. Renaissance? Renaissance, Renaissance. But let me continue with the question. An artistic rebirth, especially in Italy, inspired by the cultural achievements of ancient Greece and Rome. Renaissance is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What is the name of a member of the elite warrior class of Japan? Governed by a strict code of behavior called Bushido. Kim. Samurai. Samurai is correct. Hey, check. Question number eight. According to a popular 19th century proverb, what fruit keeps the doctor away? Kim. Apple. Apple is correct. Hey, check. Question number nine. Which Scottish inventor is credited with patenting the first practical working telephone in 1876? The correct answer is Alexander Graham Bell. Question number 10. What city in the United States is called the Golden City and nicknamed Frisco? Isaac. San Francisco. San Francisco is correct. Key check. Question number 11. What do you call the larval stage of a butterfly or moth? Kim. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is mali. J. Caterpillar. Caterpillar is correct. Key check. Last question for this round. From the French word meaning to slide, it is the musical instruction to slide between a group of notes. On the piano, the performer runs a finger down or up the keyboard. What is this musical term? Siren. Crescendo. Crescendo. Crescendo? Crescendo is mali. Kim? Passaggio. Passaggio. Is mali. Isa. Arpeggio. Arpeggio. Arpeggio is mali. May input ka, Jay? Alright, the correct answer is glissando. Glissando. Okay, that ends round number two. Bika po tayo sa scores. Leading pa rin po si Kim with 90 points. Followed by Isaac with 60 points at tight at 20 points, si Jay at si Zaire. Pero hindi pa po tapos ang laban, pwede pa kayo bumawi dahil susunod na ang ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check. Si Prof. Neil, may tanong for Isaac. Well, Isaac, ang daming organizations so student organizations sa UP. Bakit ang napili mong salihan ay ang UP Lacan at UP Arirang? Una, sumali po ako ng UP Lacan kasi taga Bulacan po ako and kaming apat po actually, taga, taga Bulacan and member rin po kami lahat ng UP Lacan. At sumali po ako kasi parang gusto ko pong makatulong at may maibalik sa aking probinsya. Then, pangalawa naman po yung sa UP Arirang, medyo mahilig po kasi ako sa Korean culture. Kaya naisipan ko rin pong sumali doon. Ngayon naman, si Zyril naman. Medyo bitin kami sa bayo mo, Zyril. So, bigyan mo naman kami, tell us something about yourself na ikakagulat namin. Ah, hindi naman siya shocking, pero I really like makeup. Tapos parang gusto ko i-show yung creative, uh, creative side ko through makeup. So, every day parang magpe-play ako ng isang song. Tapos may inspire ako by that song. Tapos yung makeup ko that day, inspired by that song. 
All right. Thank you so much, Zyril. Ayan, no? so make up yung hilig niya. Okay, thank you everyone. So once again, recap muna tayo ulit. Kim is still leading with 90 points, followed by Isaac with 60 points, Jay and Zyril with 20 points. Meron pa tayong paparating na next round. Ito yung ultimate pagalingan round. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each. At may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. At para mas alisto ang ating contestants sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Good luck and let's begin. First question, kinakabahan ba kayo? Relax ha? Mathematics, kinda. al khwarizmi was a polymath during the Islamic Golden Age who produced influential works in mathematics. Which branch of mathematics was named after al khwarizmi A. Trigonometry B. Algebra C. Geometry D. Calculus or E. Arithmetic J. B. Algebra Muhammad Musa al khwarizmi was a 9th century Muslim mathematician and astronomer. al khwarizmi is recognized as the father of this branch. He wrote a book titled Kitab Al-Jabbar, delving on the various mathematical concepts. So from the title Kitab Al-Jabbar, we derive the term Algebra. So the correct answer is B, Algebra. Okay, check. Thank you. Next, Prof. Neil. Which of the following is the country most affected by earthquakes? A, Indonesia. B, Japan. C, Mexico. D, Nepal. E, Vietnam. J. A. Indonesia. Mali. Kim. Uh, B. Japan. Ang bansang ito ang may pinakamaraming recorded na mga lindol. Ngunit sila rin ang may teknolohiya upang tumugon sa hamon na ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Japan. K. Check. Punta ulit tayo sa Art and Culture. Who directed the movie On the Job? na nagwagi ng maraming awards noong taong 2013. A. Joel Mangan B. Eric Mati C. Peke Galliaga D. Ishmael Bernal E. Eddie Romero Aha! Walang nanonood ng pelikula dito. <laughs> the film On the Job tells the story of two hitmen, prisoners, who are temporarily freed to carry out political executions. It is well executed by director Eric Mati. Thank you, Prof. Gigi. Prof. Marian. Let's go to chemistry. Which chemical element has almost the same density as gold? A. Silver. B. Plutonium. C. Tungsten, D. Iridium, or E. Titanium? J. A. Silver. Male. Okay, ang silver ay less dense. Okay, ang iridium naman ay one of the densest of the elements. And titanium magaan, I mean less dense. Titanium has 4.51 gram per cubic centimeter, and water 1 gram. Now, this um, element, since same density as gold, ay ginagamit ng gold counterfeiters. Yun yung pinapalit nila sa gold. Kasi pag nilagay sa weighing scale, magkapareho halos. Plutonium is 19.8 gram per cubic meter, uh, but as tungsten has a density of 19.23 per sorry, cubic centimeter. Both close, but the closer one is tungsten. So the correct answer is letter C, tungsten. Alin sa mga sumusunod ang larawan ng kalayaan? A, paglaganap ng kahirapan. B, kontrol sa lipunan ng elite. 
si pagboto sa panahon ng eleksyon, di pagkakaroon ng isang identidad, i walang tamang sagot. Kim, i walang tamang sagot. Mali. Tyrell. Si pagboto sa panahon ng eleksyon. Samutsari ang larawan ng kalayaan. Malaya tayo kung sino ang pipiliin nating mahalin, kung anong pelikula ang gusto nating panoorin, o anong musika ang gusto nating pakinggan. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, pagboto sa panahon ng eleksyon. Okay, check. Which color combination is considered as complementary according to the color theory? A, yellow and pink. B, blue and violet. C, red and green, D, yellow and blue, E, orange and black. Zairin. Yellow and blue, B. Wrong. J. Red and green. Complementary colors are the opposite colors in the color wheel. Christmas colors. Yan ay complementary color combination. So, red and green is the answer. Okay, check. UP colors din yun, di ba? Maroon and yes. green. Christmas pala tayo. <laughs> uh, mainit na usapan ng climate change. Diba? So, greenhouse gases. Ang tanong ko, which of the following is not a major greenhouse gas? A. Water vapor. B. Methane. C. Nitrous oxide. D. Carbon monoxide or E oxygen. J E oxygen. Male. Zayrel. Water vapor. A. Male. Greenhouse gases are gases in our atmosphere which trap heat. And they don't allow heat nga na lumabas. They allow sunlight to enter pero no heat. Kaya nga may climate change daw. Now, the main greenhouse gases are water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, ozone, and nitrous oxide. Although it has important indirect effects on global warming, carbon monoxide is not a major greenhouse gas. So, the correct answer is D. Carbon monoxide. Okay. Sino ang nagsilbing presidente o pangulo ng ikalawang republika ng Pilipinas? A. Emilio Aguinaldo B. Jose Laurel C. Sergio Osmeña D. Manuel Luis Quezon E. Manuel Rojas Una, ikatlo at ikatlong republika ay tumugon tayo sa hamon ng kolonisasyon. Sa unang republika, ang tumugon sa hamon na yon ay si Emilio Aguinaldo. So siyang kinikilala nating First Republic President. Yung pangalawang republika, ang konteksto nun ay pananakop ng mga hapon. So dapat ang sagot kung sino yung pangulo na hinarap natin ang hamon ng okupasyong hapon. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Jose Laurel. What is the visual representation in which the subject's features are exaggerated? A. Mosaic B. Caricature C. Assemblage D. Decoupage E. Typography B. Caricature This artistic technique is commonly used to depict individuals in a humorous or satirical way of comedic effect. Yes, okay, check. My last question. Who is referred to as the father of the atomic bomb? A. Joseph Oppenheimer B. Edward Teller C. Albert Einstein D. Alfred Nobel E. Andre Sakharov A. Oppenheimer Lahat sila gumawa ng supang pasabog okay? Si Edward Teller is the so-called father of the hydrogen bomb 
Alfred Nobel also created an explosive, the dynamite. Si um, Andre Sakharov ang guma gumawa ng SAR bomba, right? Pinakamalakas daw. Na it's a thermonuclear bomb. Edward Teller is the so-called father of the hydrogen bomb. Pero ang atomic bomb ay nabuo during the World War II through the Manhattan Project and the Los Alamos Laboratory was tasked to design the bomb. And ang head ng Los Alamos Laboratory uh, was Joseph Oppenheimer. So ang tamang sagot, A. Joseph Oppenheimer. K. Check! What is not a legacy of former United States First Lady Rosalind Carter. She died on November 19, 2023. She was the wife of the 39th President of the United States, Jimmy Carter. A. Advocacy for caregiving. B. Breast cancer awareness. C. Institutionalization of the office of the First Lady of the United States. D. Mental health advocacy. E. Early childhood immunization. Okay, karamihan ng mga, ng mga pinagpilian ay pamana ni Ginang Carter. Mental health, early childhood immunization, caregiving, maging pagpapalakas ng opisina ng First Lady ng Estados Unidos. Ang tamang sagot ay advocacy naman ni Betty Ford. Yun ang asawa ng tinalo ng kanyang husband na si Jimmy Carter ng 1976 presidential elections. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, breast cancer awareness. Last question, Prof. Gigi. Which part of the camera concentrates light and focuses image? A, lens, B, button, C, shutter, D, viewfinder, E, body? J, A, lens. This consists of multiple glass elements that work together to bend and refract the incoming light, ensuring that it converges at a specific point to create a well-focused image. Lens, that is correct. K-Check. Thank you so much. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Kim, our K-Check Daily Winner. Congratulations with uh, 105 points. So we'll see you again on Friday when you compete with our other daily winners for a spot in the semi-finals. And again, thank you to our contestants, uh, Jay, Isaac, and Jairil, and to our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. Maraming salamat po. Once again, this is Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. <laughs>